right, welcome back to my channel and you'll be working on the sectional view of the building roof as we have worked on the sectional view of the uh, floor to foundation so now we want to work on the sectional view of the roof of the building and as we have here that the floor to ceiling height is 3100 so if we divide 3100 by 50 that will give us 63 millimeters which means what we need to do now is that we are going to take a measurement of 63 millimeters from the surface of the floor here so we take 63 millimeters up so this is 63 millimeters so we are going to draw a horizontal line uh, through this so we draw a horizontal line like this okay so having draw this horizontal line the next thing that you are going to do is to uh, take our uh, our cell square so we take our cell square so the pitch angle given to us is 30 degree so we are going to put the cell square at this point 30 degree cell square and we draw so we draw this line in this direction and then so we put at this point at this point here So put it at this point and we draw in this direction okay all right so um so this is an extension it's an extension of the roof so we we'll leave it like that so the next thing that we are going to do here is that i'm going to uh, draw uh what i'm going to put here i'm going to draw the uh the tie beam so we are going to have the tie beam all right uh, let's work on this part first before i move to the tie beam so um, what i'm going to do now is that i will draw a vertical line at this point here and uh, coming here so with uh, my 60 degrees square i'm going to draw a line in this direction okay just a short line and here also i will also draw a line with 60 degree so that you be at the right angle to this um okay should have done the same thing here okay so with that same 60 degree so that you be at the right angle so draw a line here and on this side also i will draw a line okay so now so we play we draw the the rafter so draw the rafter so let's take the thickness of the rafter so let's say that is um so let's take uh two millimeters for that two millimeters here and we come here also we take two millimeters so this is two millimeters okay We take two millimeters here then coming up here so here i will take two millimeters to make the work first so i'll take two millimeters okay and here also i will take two millimeters from this point here two millimeters up okay so i'm going to so i'm going to join these two points together so for the two millimeters that we took here i will also join these together for that two millimeters that we took for the rafters okay so the next thing that i'm going to do is to draw the uh pauline so we are going to put the pauline's around here so what we just need to do so we also take uh two uh, millimeters so two millimeters up here so here we also take two millimeters so we take two millimeters here also so from here so this is two millimeters so here i will also take two millimeters Okay, 
so I'll come here I will take two millimeters okay so I can join uh, this together then here also I will join this together all right so now so for the polling so we set them so if i look at what we have here i don't know if they give us okay so 1000 centers they give us 1000 centers so 1000 by 50 so that would be 20 so 20, 20 millimeters from here so 20 millimeters from here so i will take 20 millimeters from here so this is 20 okay so then i will take two millimeters again So this is two millimeters. Then I will take twenty millimeters again from here. So this is twenty millimeters. Okay. Then I will take two millimeters. Then here I will take twenty millimeters again. Then two millimeters away. Then here I will take twenty millimeters. Then two millimeters again. Then twenty millimeters again. Then two millimeters. All right. So I'm going to leave it like this. So what we just need to do now is to uh, make uh, so the polling. So we make it uh, thick. So the width and the so it is two millimeters all around in form of a square all right so i'm going to pause the video and do it then when i'm done i will come back and show you what to do all right so i'll put the polling as you can see here in form of a square distance 20 millimeters from each other as we are given the centers uh, 1000 centers so the next thing that we are going to do is to construct the ridge cap so for the ridge cap I will just take a measurement of uh, 2 millimeters from this point up 2 millimeters this is 2 millimeters here and I will also take 2 millimeters on this side from this point up 2 millimeters so this is 2 millimeters here so what I'm going to do now is to uh, use my uh, 30 degree cell square so I will just come up here uh, I will draw a line like this and I will also the 30 degree I will also draw a line like this and, but before I go on to do this I think I should have done what I want to say now before I take the measurement for the ridge carpet let's just uh, manage this space okay so uh, for the uh, roofing uh, material for the roofing material I'll just take one millimeter from this line so this line is part of the roofing material so I just take one millimeter here okay so this is one millimeter So here I will also take one millimeter from this line. So take one millimeter here. Like this then I'm going to draw a line. Okay, just let me take one millimeter here. I think the T square is not balanced for that so i just take one millimeter here I'll come here i will also take one millimeter so this is one millimeter so i'm going to join these together for the roofing material so i join this here like this and also i will also join this Okay, so this is for the roofing material. So 
um, so we make it tick later so let's work on the ridge cap so i just manage the remaining space for the ridge cap so i need to draw this line so the first line that we drew before we went for drawing the line for the roofing material so then so from this point where the intersect here so i'll just take a measurement of Here I will take a measurement of uh, from this point here where they intersect. So I just take a measurement of uh, 10 millimeters to this side. And here also, so from here, I will take 10 millimeters to this side. Alright, so that's what we have there. So let's bring out the ridge cap. Then we go on to make the roof uh, thick. Okay. Alright, so from here we draw this line. Alright, so that's the ridge cap that we have there. So I just want to be like that. So it's my own decision. Okay. So then for the roofing material, so we are going to so I just make this uh, thick for now. Okay. So for this also, I'll make it a thick line. So from here down. Alright, so we are moving on so the ridge cap is there so this is the ridge cap so it goes like this okay so it goes like this so that's the ridge cap all right um so now so uh coming down here so we need to uh, do something so i'm going to draw the tie beam so the tie beam we are going to lay it here so what i'm going to do for the tie beam is that so on this line here I just take a measurement of 3 millimeters. So take 3 millimeters. So this is 3 millimeters here. I will draw horizontal line. So draw horizontal line like this. Alright, so draw that horizontal line. So uh, for the tie beam, so I'm going to terminate it here. So and I'll terminate it uh, for this part. So just terminate it there. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, draw the um, the work plate. So work plate, I'll just take like five millimeters down. So this is five millimeters. So five millimeters from here down. So just take like five millimeters here. So this is uh, five millimeters. Okay. So this is five millimeters. Okay. So five millimeters. So so that will be. And I will draw this. And here I will draw this. So for the work plate, so uh, it's in a square form. Okay, so then I'm going to connect this point, connect it together, together with this, and also connect this point together with this for the work plate. So also I will do the same thing here. I will do the same thing on this side. All right, so we have that. So for the tie beam, so I can go on and make this line a thick line. Uh, 
Yeah, so next is for the if projection. So for the if projection, so the if given to us is five uh, five hundred. So five hundred by by fifty, and that give us ten. So from here we we'll take ten millimeters down. Okay, so we'll take ten millimeters down. So here I'm going to draw a horizontal line on this side. So here also. So here also this will also have its own there so we are going to take 10 millimeters here so this is 10 millimeters and here i also have 10 millimeters here so here i will also take 10 millimeters for this extension part okay so for this one now so i'm going to draw a vertical line here So vertical line so it goes to this point okay so also so it goes like this and for this one so it goes here like this okay so so I'm going to make this line a thick line up to this point the east projection and here also so this line so which is for the rafter so I'm going to make it a thick line so from here to here and also I'll do the same thing here for the rafter so I make this line a thick line Alright, so um one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so then for the roofing material, so I'll just terminate it here. So it goes beyond the ceiling. It goes beyond the ceiling. So just terminate it there. So I will also terminate it around here like this. So it goes beyond the ceiling. So that's for the roofing material. So we have drawn the east projection. So the next thing that we are going to do here for the roof is to draw the uh, ceiling joist. So for the ceiling joist, I'll just uh, come down a little bit, and I'll just take a measurement of measurement of um, so like uh, five millimeters. So five millimeters here. So here I will draw horizontal line for the ceiling joist. Okay. So horizontal line like this so for the ceiling joist so as we have here so let's see the center distance of the ceiling joist as we have here so they said 1200 center so 1200 by 1200 by 50 so that will be giving us so that will be 24 so from here so we have 24 millimeters, this is 24 millimeters here. So just take uh, 30 millimeters away for the ceiling joist then. Another 24 millimeters from here. This is 24. Then we take 30 millimeters for the thickness of the ceiling joist. So another 24 millimeters from here. So this is 24, so 30 millimeters again. So from here, another 24 millimeters. So 30 millimeters, then 24 millimeters, 30 millimeters, and another 24 millimeters. So this is 24 millimeters, then uh, 3 millimeters is here. So under 24 millimeters millimeters 
then we have 30 millimeters so this is okay so then we are going to uh, show it so for the ceiling joist okay so just draw it like this all right um so we are working on we are still working on the uh, sectional view of the building roof as you can see it here so something that takes time Alright, so this line I'm going to make it a little bit feasible. Alright, so we have the ceiling joist uh, being lined like this. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is that so we need to go and come and walk around here. We need to put the pollen and the uh, sorry we need to put the king post and the rafters uh, sorry the king post and the struts so um so i just draw so a vertical line here so the thickness of this so i want to make it to be 10 millimeters so i'll just take five to this side and five to this side so then uh, from here so I will set it your way to be at a distance of this distance to so this is 30 millimeters. So I also take 10 millimeters. So this is 10 millimeters and I will take 30 millimeters again. From there, 30 millimeters. So this is 30 millimeters. Then 10 millimeters. So this is 10. So come here also from here. I will take 30 millimeters, then 10 millimeters. Another one is 30 millimeters, then 10 millimeters. So this is okay for me. So here I'm going to draw a vertical line here, and here I will make it. All right, so I'm going to leave my home. I'm going to leave it in this form. I prefer it to be like this. So now, so with what we have done here, so we are done with the sectional view of the roof. So let's meet for the sectional view of the interior part of the building. Thank you and God bless you.